It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Raiders and the Commanders, and it's coming up next. Well, this building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Washington Commanders. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. Minshew looking to throw it right off the bat. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. That is caught, and he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down, they go with a slant, it works. And I'm wondering when the league is going to figure it out because everyone throws it on third down. You expect pressure, so you want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback quickly. It's a three-step route ordinarily, and you're throwing it where you see the receiver breaking towards you. So it's an inside route. Everyone likes it, and it's executed very well. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Well, on second down, this is Madison. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. 
Going to run with Madison again. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. Jabril Cox there on the tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. Third and seven now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. He'll let this go for Adams. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Running on first down, Eckler. And that to the 30, it'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. And now they'll fake the jet sweep and give it instead to Eckler. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play... And now a fumble! The ball's out! And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. 
I'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin able to slither by. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. They go play action here on first down. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. are going to take this to about the 10-yard line. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Here now, third and a yard. Back to throw. Daniels. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Commanders post the first points of the ballgame as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And the kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7-0 lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Looking to throw it. Minshew. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So nothing doing there. And it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And it's complete to Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Washington on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now Minshew. And yeah, that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He was a perfect 7-of-7 seven seven on that opening drive, the seventh being the touchdown pass. And they'll start here with a first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. Shifts free at the 15. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. 45 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. A throw over the middle, taken in. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. They'll get an injury stoppage, and it appears to be the wideout, Jahan Dotson. He's the one shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside.
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Daniels. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now from the 26. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And that is incomplete here. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Back to throw. Daniels. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. A yard all they need, but it's third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw, and that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Zach Ertz from a yard out. And the Commanders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert.
McManus's point after is good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Minshew. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And his throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Minshew sets to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. It'll be Minshew again. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Washington offense set to take over. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. A second and 11 from the 19. Looking to throw. Daniels looking Austin Eckler's way again. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The 
We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, here's Heckler. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. DeAndre Carter back deep. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And Minshew going to get him to the line quickly. Second and five. It's complete, Abdullah. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun is Minshew. This goes out wide for Madison. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Again, Minshew looking to throw. He finds Mayer here. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. All right, the highlights Coach, are fairly one-sided to this point. We it's a two-touchdown difference here at the three. break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. Now it's Crowder. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Ready, ready. Let's get out of here with the win. Oh, 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Daniels over the middle, and it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On third down, Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. What's the deal, y'all? The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 83 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it. You can throw it. You keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third down and one. Back to throw. Daniels able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first and 10, Daniels. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and 10. Now a give running left is Eckler. 
They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They lost four there, and it's third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So here's a third and 14. Looking to throw. Daniels. Eluding the pressure right. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they begin the drive with Abdullah. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They're going to look to throw. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Wait, you're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw here. Looking deep for Adams. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And this is a situation where as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. Crowder now to return. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. And the Washington offense heading out. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking <laughs> because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Put your foot on the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Complete to Zacchaeus. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. 
And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Daniels. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington! Terry McLaurin, 31 yards. And the Commanders are able to widen their advantage. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Raiders offense coming back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll start on the ground with Madison, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, they run with Madison. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Another carry now for Madison. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 40 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. Here's Madison running on first down, down to about the 37. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This is second and eight. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Raiders on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. They'll drop to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown! Amir Abdullah, 37 yards. And the Raiders are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Now the Raider offense will stay out there as they'll line up to go for two. And Minshew will throw for it. He's got it. So they convert to two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball throwing to start the drive Daniels I see the surprise in your face there partner that is a rare incompletion from him he's been on point this entire game he has percentage completion wise way up not that time An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Daniels. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. 111 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Now a throw here, hauled in. 
They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Yeah, a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first down, Daniels. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, <laughs> stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On the give, this is Eckler. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Second down and eight. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Minshew, first and ten. He goes underneath to Abdullah. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. That's caught by Myers. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. Here's Madison running left, and he stopped immediately there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. That was an example of excellent defense there. They stuffed them. So now it brings up a third down situation. If I'm calling plays here, I make sure I put in the hands of my quarterback and get it to a receiver real fast. I'm not running the ball here. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Pass thrown to Adams. He's got it on the crossing route. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Minshew. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Second and five. A handoff, it's Eckler. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so he'll be third and about the length of the football. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here comes third and the length of the football. Go, 
They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. Up past the 30, second down coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So a victory here for the Commanders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.